everyone, in today's video I'm going to take you through what's in my camera bag because I haven't done one of these videos in quite a few years and a lot has changed. So I think the last time I did one of these videos uh, I was a full-time Canon shooter and now I'm a full-time Sony shooter. So this is my camera bag, it's quite heavy with everything in it. <laughs> so I thought I'd start on the outside. This camera bag is a in-case DSLR Pro Pack. This is actually the old version of this bag. They have a newer one now and I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested because I always get a lot of questions about my camera bag. I've been using this same one forever. I'm gonna say I've had it for maybe six or seven years I've been using this. It's like don't fix what ain't broke. <laughs> So I own three camera bodies. I have a bunch of lenses and I'll also be taking you guys through some of the accessories that I use for photography as well. Speaking of, aside from YouTube and the stuff that you guys see me do here, I am also a full-time photographer outside of YouTube as well. I do wedding photography and I do fashion photography as well. So this is mostly what I use this kit for, are those kinds of photography jobs. So first of all, I have two Sony a7 III bodies. These are the main camera bodies that I use for all my work. They are my workhorses. And I just had a look and I can't believe, but I've had them for almost three years now, both of these, which is crazy. I'll actually, if you guys are interested, I'll leave my first photo shoot that I've done on the a7 III down below. It's kind of funny, like looking back at that now and seeing all the stuff we've been through now. <laughs> on these cameras, I've done so much with these. I do wedding photography, obviously. I've done on location, natural light fashion shoots. I've done studio shoots on these cameras. I've done vlogging on the a7 III, which is, does not have a flip screen. So that was an interesting time. I've also done creative video shoots on this camera as well. So these are really great. They're amazing all-rounder camera bodies. So the first lens that I bought for my Sony a7 III and coincidentally, it's the first lens that's getting replaced in this whole camera bag as well is the Zeiss 35mm f1.4. As you guys know, I love the 35mm focal length. So this had to be the first lens that I got for my camera body. This 35 served me really well throughout the years. I've used it super heavily the entire time that I've had it and the a7 III's and it was probably my most used lens out of everything. I've also put it through a lot as well. It's been soaked, it's been drenched in snow, um, and a whole bunch of crazy stuff, but it's still working perfectly to this day. However, I did say that this lens is getting replaced and you might have seen it in the background, but I'm so excited. My GM 35 millimeter F 1.4 just came in the mail yesterday and I kept it in the box cause I wanted to open it with you guys today. So let's open it. The lens hood and the little strap for the bag, which I'll never use again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> New lens. So obviously you guys would have seen my videos on this GM35 1.4 already. I've done a review video for this lens and I did a couple of portrait photo shoots on it as well. But that lens I had borrowed from Sony and I had to return it. And I loved it so much that I went and bought one for myself. So this will be my new main 35 millimeter lens that I'll use for pretty much everything. And I will sell the Zeiss 35. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a big size difference between the two lenses as well. I was so surprised at how little this GM35 was when I first opened it. This would be such a great lens to have for wedding photography and long days of fashion photography just because it's so little and lightweight compared to the Zeiss. So that one will go in my camera bag and the Zeiss will go away. <laughs> The next lens that I have is the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.2. And I wasn't kidding when I said 35 is my favorite focal length. And even though I don't keep them in my actual camera bag, I do still own my Canon 35 1.4 Mark I and Mark II. The Mark I lives on my 1V film camera and the Mark II I have for when I use Canon cameras. Um, yeah, so I do also have the Sigma 35 1.2. This is a super beautiful lens and I just had to have it because it's a 1.235, which is really cool. The next lens I have is the Zeiss 50mm f1.4. This is a lens that I mostly use for my fashion photography. I do a lot of e-commerce on this lens because it's got 
a little bit of distortion but not too much and it's also very fast and sharp and I just like the way that it looks for that kind of work. If you're wondering why I haven't upgraded to the GM50 1.2, I have just uploaded a video all about that if you guys want to watch that but for the time being, I'm happy with my Zeiss version of the 50. The next lens that I have is the G Master 85mm f1.4 and I adore this lens so much. It's a very, very beautiful 85 and I use it a lot with the 35. The 35 is such a fun lens to use for both portrait and wedding photography because you have such an interesting field of view. It's a little bit funky with the distortion. And then the 85 is the perfect complementary focal length to a 35 because it's a much more classic look with an 85. You have more isolation with your subjects. You have that beautiful background to foreground separation and some gorgeous bokeh as well. So that's why I like using the 35 and 85. I feel like together they can really tell a story in the images that you're taking. The last lens that I have for photography is the GM 135F 1.8. This is such a beautiful lens. Um, however, I don't use it for portrait photography that much. I think I've only ever uploaded maybe one or two videos on the 135. I mostly use this for wedding photography. So with weddings, I normally like to use the 135 when I need extra reach. So I typically tend to have it on my camera during the ceremony or the speeches at the reception. Since I use this lens so heavily for weddings, I do need something that will work well in low light situations situations, which is why I've decided to go with this 135 since it has an aperture of f1.8. Before we move on to accessories, the last camera body that I have is the Sony a7C and I use this the majority of the time for vlogging since it has a nice convenient flip screen unlike the a7 III and I do use it for portrait photo shoots as well. And then the lens that I use with it is the G20 f1.8. This is such a beautiful lens. I borrowed it from Sony and again, I loved it so much. I went and bought one for myself. I also like to keep this 20 in my camera bag when I'm at a wedding, just to take a big group photo of everyone who's there. And then the microphone that I use is the Rode Video Micro. So that's my little vlogging kit. Finally, we have the accessories that I use. I only have three accessories that I wanna share with you guys today, but these are things that you ask me about all the time, so I thought it would be helpful to show you. So first of all, the memory cards I use are ProGrade V60 cards. And then I have mentioned that I use a dual camera setup when I'm shooting weddings, and I do that with these camera straps, which are from Holdfast Gear, and they're called the Money Makers. These are older Money Maker camera straps as they have changed stuff like the shackles and things like that. And these in particular were custom ordered as I got rid of the D-rings that they have on the strap since I have long hair and there were like reviews where your hair can get tangled in those D-rings. So I got rid of those. But yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen me use them in my videos before, but they are super comfy and I love them. Yeah, they're still in really good condition, even though I've used them like a lot and I've had them for many years. And the last thing that I have are my flashes, which I use for wedding photography and they are Canon flashes. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like flashes are one of those things that you don't really need to replace unless they break. Um, but I basically use these for the reception during a wedding. Most of the time during the speeches and the dance floor, that's when they get the most amount of use. And you might be wondering, but yes, I do use these flashes on my Sony a7 III and they do work with it even though they are Canon flashes. I use them in manual mode. So that is finally an updated what's in my camera bag. This is what I've been using for the past few years and what I will continue using for my portrait, fashion and wedding photography work. Even though I am a Sony shooter now full time and that's what I use for my work, I do and will still use other camera brands on my YouTube channel. I am still happy to shoot on Fujifilm and on Canon and on Nikon and on any camera brand. I have nothing against anyone. This is just what I decided to go with for my work, which is outside of YouTube anyway, so you guys don't generally see that quite a lot. I feel like waiting for the GM35 1.4 to arrive has made me feel like my camera bag is complete, which is a really, really nice feeling. And I'd love to know, let me know in the comments if there's anything you're waiting to upgrade or waiting to arrive to make your camera bag complete. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed seeing the camera bodies and lenses and accessories that I use for my photography work. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye!